I've actually had this case in my garage probably for about two years. Got it in a used deal haul. Pretty big haul. And, well, it's a really cool case. I like it. It's an older Corsair. I forget which model it is. I'll post that up here if I ever figure out which one it is. But, man, this thing is massive. It's got a lot of room. And inside um, are some of the parts and things I'm going to be doing with this. So this is a project we're going to be doing. Um, I want to take some unconventional parts, pop it in here, and kind of do a... I don't know, just a weird build with stuff that you probably wouldn't use. So to kind of introduce it, uh, I'm going to be using this water cooling. It's from my cheap Chinese water cooling kit that I did a video on it a couple of years ago. It actually works pretty good. Gets the job done. So I figure bring it back and uh, pop it in this monster of a case. Like I said, it's going to be a little overkill slash underkill slash unconventional slash whatever I could think about. So... That is the plan so far. I got two 240 radiators. I think one I salvaged from an old Corsair cooler. Another one came with the kit, plus this 120. So I might try to put all those in there and just see what happens. Graphic card is under here. I can't remember which one it is. And But the real kicker of what I want to do is actually take this motherboard and pop it in there. Which you're probably saying, well, you could put any motherboard in any case. Not exactly. So this is the Dell Optiplex 7050 motherboard. The 3050 and the 5050 are all pretty much the same. I got this one in a lot deal where I paid like $20 for like four of these. And it came with the M.2, the cooler I just added on there. And I want to pop that in there. And the reason why is that these Z270 motherboards are quite expensive. And I got a, and I got a uh, CPU courtesy of uh, Silver Knights PC. Thank you guys so much for that. Definitely check them out if you're in the Fayetteville, North Carolina. Great people, great store. So they sent over the CPU to uh, help me out with this project. So I kind of want to pop it in this motherboard, pop it in there, and see if it works. Now typically when you do a swap like this that pretty much wasn't meant to be, you run into a lot of issues. So the first issue I want to find out is, number one, what kind of boot errors are we going to get? and how can we overcome them. So let's kind of switch to the bench right now. So like I said, the CPU is the i7-7700. And first things we got to do is power this thing on. Now the great thing about this uh, deal that I got is that they came with uh, 128 gigs uh, M.2s. So that kind of saves a couple of bucks. And for the price I got for these, these things come out to $5. Uh, I picked these up. They were on eBay. They were like $2 free shipping. I don't know how anybody makes money off of these. Probably just selling them in bulk. But this is the power adapter for it. And I want to make sure all this works. And splicing the power adapter, I'll do a more in-depth video on it later on. But I just want to pop that in there. And of course, because Dell has that whole six pin thing, you're going to need this adapter right over here. This, I'll put a link on it uh, down below. You can get it at the Amazon. They're like 10 15 dollars probably the most expensive thing of this project is this thing and that's going to work just like so so let me go ahead wire this up and let's power it on and see what it does all right so we got this thing going so let's go ahead flip this on i love how these oems just turn on by themselves and then they turn off so yeah that's fine so let's go ahead let's power this on and let's see what front audio USB errors that we get. All right. Dell. Now I've already gone ahead and installed Windows 11 on this one. Just to kind of save me some time. So, hey, kind of skipped them, but it said rear fan IO and keyboard. Okay. And as you can see, it's already booting into Windows, but I'm noticing that it's not saying anything about front USB or any other typical errors that you get with the older Optiplex. So this is promising. So let's reboot this and let's plug in a rear fan. So this red connector right over here is actually the rear fan and that's the one that it's giving me. So let's pop you in. Let's plug in a keyboard. At least get rid of that error. So now that's on, that's on. Let's see if we get any errors. Let's power this up. My little fan is spinning. We got the Dell and well look at that. Very interesting. So I'm not getting no typical errors that I do with the normal Dells, but if you think about it, and I kind of 
brainstorm with the whole brain meets over here. The front I.O. stuff is all built into this motherboard. You got your USB. Ooh, it's got a type C. You got your audio. So you're not going to have those errors. And as long as you have the fan figured out, which is pretty simple, the fan is figured out right there. Just plug a fan in there, which we're going to have to do when we put in the case and have this power button, then this should work. So now the question is, will we fit in the case? Another thing that we'll have to do is in, um, like I said, I'll be doing a more in-depth guide separate video on this, is dissecting this to find out which one is the power in the ground for the power switch, which I think I've seen it. I think I've done something with these before. It might be similar. And I think the easiest and best way to do it would probably be to splice into this. Just keep this, because I'm sure if you just do the power and ground, you'll get an issue, but just splice into it and hook it up to the power button for the case. I think that's gonna be the easier way to do it, which that wouldn't be too terrible. But so far, so good. Dell 7050 motherboard, i7-7700. I like the way this is going. Let's go to the case. All right, so we're at the case and just looking at it loosely, it's gonna pop in just right over here. So I got one hole that lines up, two, and nothing else lines up but two might be more than enough for what we need you know what this is definitely going to work let's pop a graphics card in and see if everything lines up that way just pop this in right here let's see Yep. Just tighten this thing up just to make sure everything is sitting properly. But yeah, it fits pretty stinking cool. So we have the two screws, one up here, one up here, that line up. Of course, nothing else lines up, but we got a few options that we can do. We can drill a hole on the case to accept the standoff, which I think I have one right over here. So I could cut and tap it, well, wherever that went, and just kind of drill one right over here, one right over here. And that would just give it extra strength, but honestly, I mean, this thing is going nowhere. I might entertain that idea, or what I might do is just get some um, rubber standoffs and just put it over here, or I could use those standoffs, put a piece of black tape, so it has just something that when you push in, it doesn't have that give. But I might entertain the idea of just drilling a hole there and a hole there, and that will hold this in place and keep it snug. So now... I see that you have a front USB over here, so we can plug in the front USB right over there. That may work. I don't know if it's going to be a different pinout issue. But other than that, I mean, yeah. I mean, the front audio, I'm not really concerned about that. I mean, if I wanted to, I could do some type of adapter. But the front USB is right there, and we do have plenty of room. You know, if we wanted to put a Wi-Fi in there or anything else, we could just use it right there. But this works pretty cool, so... Yep, this project is definitely a go, and this is the way I'm going to go with it. We're going to water cool this, put a graphics card, a bunch of storage in this big case, and I'm excited. I'm excited. Got a little more planning to do, and uh, once I get some more free time, we'll go into it. I'll do an in-depth video on how to uh, do some hackery on this, but I think this motherboard is a viable option. So I will say, I'm surprised that this works, considering that we're able to boot it up, no errors as long as you plug in that rear fan everything works fantastic i think the real key for it is this right over here as i'm sure if we were just to find the power and ground just to turn it on we might get an error with this but realistically i'm thinking that if i tuck it and just tape up this wire or maybe spray paint the wire black i mean that won't look too terrible and even this actually looks pretty cool i'll probably just take this off 
put a USB stick for extra storage. I mean, now I have two in here, so I could just kind of put two as extra storage, just that I'm not gonna typically be using. Or even put a Wi-Fi USB and Bluetooth right over here, so that's another option. So definitely got uh, options with this. In part two, you definitely don't wanna miss it, and you definitely wanna hit that notification bell and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna go over more in depth on how to make this work and how to make it more practical, I would say. So you definitely don't wanna miss it. And I gotta say once again, huge shout out to uh, Silver Knights PC in Fayetteville, North Carolina for providing me that CPU. It's a real big help and uh, definitely got me motivated to get this thing going. And I'm really looking forward to the idea I might come up with this. Um, I don't know, a bunch of ideas. I'm definitely not, definitely not gonna use these fans, that's for sure. But I might put the 240 over here, definitely a 120 over here. Not sure if I'm gonna do the 240 over here because I actually wanna use this. Um, for the hard drives, because I got a bunch of mechanical hard drives that uh, I do want to use for some type of storage, uh, steam storage, kind of make this maybe a makeshift server. A lot of ideas going, and I definitely want to do the uh, water cooling. Yes, I know uh, traditional fans were more reliable, but I like to think outside of the box, and that's the way we're going to do it. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, questions, and uh, definitely give me your opinions and your thoughts and uh, suggestions on what can we do with this. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and as always, we'll see what we come up with next.